Lauren Heffes, and I just filmed a low abs video just for you. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. My abs are feeling it right now. It's pretty hard, but you're gonna love it, and you're gonna get through it, and it's gonna be so awesome. So you're gonna sit up nice and tall, and you're gonna reach your arms long in front of you, slowly one vertebrae at a time, lower down onto the mat, and then give yourself a nice stretch. Reach your arms up to the sky, close your rib cage down, exhale, scoop that low belly in, reach front, grab the backs of your toes, relax your neck, and feel a good stretch behind your legs. Lift up nice and tall again, and slowly peel all the way down to the mat. You're going to start with your hands behind your head, and you're going to curl up. You're going to draw that low stomach in, point your toes long ahead of you, and start to give me a little pulse up and up. So it does not matter how high you're going. You're actually not going to get very high in this position. But every time you lift, all about your breath. I want you to think about pulling that belly button down to your spine, maybe tucking the tailbone under just a little, pushing that low back down and down, squeezing through your inner thighs, lengthening your legs. It's all about the breath for eight, Seven, opening up those elbows. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release down. This time you're going to curl up again. Lift your legs up into tabletop. Scoop that belly and open up your elbows. Extend your right leg long. So if you notice, my left knee stays right above that left hip. And then you switch. Exhale. So just breathe through this. Make sure not to pull that leg and I just want it to stay stacked. Keeping your elbows open, keeping your shoulder blades high for eight, seven, six, five. Low belly pulls in four, three, two, and one. Pull both legs in and release. You're going to curl your head, neck, and shoulders up again. And this time you're going to pull one leg in tight, extend the other one long and hold it for three, two, one, and switch. Exhale, three, two. One, draw the belly in, three, two, one, and switch, take it, three, pull that leg in, reach it, two, and switch, take it, three, two, one, two, more, take it, three, two, one, last one, take it, three, two, one, and rest. Stretch out your arms, arch your back, open up that belly again, now close the ribs, reach your arms up, exhale, peel all the way up to the tippy toes, and stretch front, take a breath. Reach your arms tall, slowly one vertebrae at a time, lower down to the mat, take your hands behind your head, we're doing it again. Curl up, scoop that low belly and point the toes, inner thigh, squeeze you, pulse up, up. So just focus front, drawing that low belly in, scooping for eight, seven, little one, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Legs up into tabletop. Curl your head and shoulders up. Let lengthen the left leg, and then switch to the right. So this is not about speed. It's about finding the length in your leg, keeping the other leg right above hip, and drawing and scooping that low belly in. Give me four, three, two, and one. Release down. Now this time you're going to curl your head, neck, and shoulders up. Open up your elbows. Pull in and switch. And when I'm doing this, I'm really thinking of pulling that leg into my chest while extending that other leg along. You switch and switch. Now flex your feet. Drive through those heels for five, four, three, two, and one. Release. Stretch. Open that belly again. We're going to take it up, and you're going to grab your towel, and we're going to do another series. So for this series, you're going to, or at least I need to fold my mat in half because I don't have enough room behind me for my little towel. So both of my feet are going to go on this towel and my forearms are going to go on the mat. So tippy toes on the towel, forearms set down on the mat, and you're going to extend your legs straight. So first things first, pushing the elbows into the mat. Make sure your hips aren't sinking down and your butt's not too high up. You're tucked under and you're breathing. So hold this plank here for a little. Exhale as you scoop that low belly in. 
keep going, I'm gonna talk for a little bit here. There's a space in your back. You don't wanna let it arch too much, but you wanna pull it in. You wanna open up and lengthen through that low back. So when I say that, I want you to curl up a little bit, tuck under a little bit, pull that belly in and hold. Now here comes the towel action. You're gonna round the back a little, exhale, pull, and release. Exhale, pull. So as you're doing this, scoop that low belly in. Breathe. And I'm not bending my legs. It's all coming, the power is coming from my abs. Scooping it up. Good. Breathe, exhale, scoop in. Pulling the legs straight. Keep going. Closing the space between the rib cage and the hip bone. So as you're curling, you're crunching. Breathe, 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 and release. Exhale. And release. It's literally, keep going. You got this, like you're doing a crunch, but you're in a plank position. Give me four more. Crunch four. And down. Crunch up, hold three. And down. Crunch up, hold, 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 hold. Now last one, you're gonna hold it in. Tuck it under. Squeeze that glute. Pull the low belly in for four. Scoop it three. Last two, and rest. Give yourself a stretch. Okay, so when we do that exercise, it's really about the connection and about pulling in from that low belly. And when you're scooping in, have that power come from your belly, pulling in from that stomach. Let's unwind our mat, and let's go back to that. So now you're back to lying on your back, and your arms are gonna go down by your side, your shoulders away from your ears, your belly pulled in, so don't let that arch come too much. <sighs> Try to control that low back by pulling in that stomach, and your knees are over your hips. Now we're gonna open up the knees wide, making sure they're not pulled into our shoulders. Again, keeping them over our hips, and you're scooping in your belly, arms down by your side. You're going to exhale, lower down your right leg, inhale to lift up. Exhale, and inhale. Exhale, and inhale. So I'm gonna keep working you through this. Now, a lot of this is all about your breath. Clearly I'm talking, so I'm not doing a good job breathing. Inhale, and exhale. Now, you're working your inner thighs when you lift your leg up, and as you're lowering down your leg, you're pulling in that belly belly, nice and tight, the belly belly. Your belly button, nice and tight. Down, inhale, exhale, inhale, that's it. Lower down, exhale. Now, this can look really, really easy. But again, it's about your connection. Are you pulling your stomach in? Are you pulling in that belly button? Once your leg goes down, if you start to arch, try to really reverse that and tuck and pull under. All right, let's take our hands up, both legs up. And you're gonna lower down the left leg or the right leg, whatever feels good, and then switch. Yeah? Four more, I'm also feeling a lot in my inner thighs. Three more, two more, last one, and release. Okay, close the knees, relax down. Open up the knees again. You're gonna lower down just halfway. Exhale, inhale to lift. Exhale, relax your shoulders. Inhale to lift. Hopefully you're feeling these in your inner thighs and your low abs. Exhale, inhale to lift. Two more, exhale, inhale to lift. One more time, exhale, keep that low back in, scoop that belly in, and lift it up. Nice job, hands behind your head. Curl up, reach long. You're all very familiar with this exercise. Stack your left knee over, and let's switch it, and switch, switch. So we're starting exactly from the top, right what we did, whoops. Stacking that knee, reaching. As you're doing this, I want you to think of reaching that leg long. So don't think of pulling and think of reaching. Reaching, reaching, reaching for eight. Flex your feet, seven, six, Five, reach four, push three, two, and one, release down. Now you're gonna think of pulling and reaching. Pull one leg in, reach one leg. You're gonna point for eight and flex for eight. Here we go, eight, seven, six, five. Pull it in four, keep those shoulder blades up. Three, two, and flex your feet for eight, seven, maybe curl up an inch higher. Six, five, four, three, two, and one, release. Arms down by your side. You're gonna lift your low bum under, pulling the belly in, and lower down. Lift, and down. Now, if you have a mat, you're gonna pull down on the mat, and release. Pull down, 
and release. This is gonna help you get a little bit deeper. Push and release. Now, if you don't have a mat, or if maybe if you have, let's say, a couch under you, you're gonna push up on the couch and release. Or a table, up and release. Lift up and release. Push here. I have, hold on one second. Like that. Well, this, something like this. This is very light, so if I push, it's gonna lift up, but maybe something heavier. And release. Lift and release. Now again, if you don't have it, you just grab the sides of your mat and release. Lift up. All right, now straighten those legs. Scooping in that low belly, either put your hands under a bench or under a chair. And you want to, don't want to throw it up. You want to think of tucking under it, controlling, even if your lift is minimal, even if you're just there. Hold it and release. Push up and release. That's it. Pull down and release. This is at your own pace. We're going to do a bunch of these, so start to enjoy it. Lift and release. Okay, now we're going to do a double pulse. So we take it up, two, down. Up, two, down. You got this. Up, two, down. Exhale, down. Exhale, down. Four more. Up, two, down. Three more. Up, lift, two, down. Final two. Lift, final one, you have this up, two, and rest. Okay, we are going back to our towel because this is so awesome. I love this one so much. Folding your, your blanket in half, grabbing your towel, putting the tips of your toes on the towel, inner thighs are squeezing together, forearms are down. You wanna have enough space between your mat and your feet. So if you're too close to your mat like this, it's not gonna do much. So walk your hands back. Ooh, that's a good one too. If you kind of walk front. Oh man! Next video. All right, so hold your plank. Squeeze your inner thighs together and just hold here. Look, tuck under and release. Exhale and release. Give me 10. Round back nine. Scoop it under eight. Seven. Six, five, four, breathe it, three, exhale, two, hold it up for three, two, and rest. We're going to do another one of those, so give yourself a nice little stretch. Okay, so we're going to do a little challenge, actually. Option one is to hold your plank. Option two is to do a little army crawl. Accidentally, we just discovered an exercise. So hold your plank. We're gonna crawl up for four and back for four. So we take it four, three, two, and one. Back four, three, two. Here we go. We take it four, three, two. Holy moly, take it back. Two, three, two more. Take it up. Two, three, four, and back. Two, three, last one. Take it up. Two, three, four, and back. Two, three, and rest. Oh. I love planks. Let's arch your back, open up your belly. You guys are gonna have one more, because they're awesome. Round and release. Remember, if you are modifying your plank, you can just go on the tops of your thighs and hold. Scoop in that belly, pull in that low ab, and really breathe, really think of the muscles coming in. All right, guys. We have one more hold, one more army crawl, and you guys are home free. Let's maybe now have our feet hips width apart, so not too wide, but I don't want them touching. Extend your legs long, scoop the belly in and hold. So all you're doing here is breathing. Maybe you can squeeze your butt now. Hold in here. Now let's scoop in for 10. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, hold, four, three, two, last one, hold, three, Two and rest. Ready? Army crawl. Here we come. Hair in my face. Front and back for four. All right, we got this, guys. I'm really pumping myself up right now. Okay, here we go, Lauren. Four front, four back. You have four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one more. Take it four, three. Two, last one, take your four, three, two, hold it for eight, 
seven, scoop it under six, breathe, five, four, three, two, hallelujah, done. <sighs> and in case you like my pants, I'm kind of obsessed with them right now. They're high-waisted, most comfortable pants from Beyond Yoga, and they're great because you can wear like a crop top with it, or if you just want to like cover this area a little bit, then that's awesome. But we just did a low abs workout, so maybe you won't need to cover up that area. This is a fun little bralette. Is that what you call it? Bralette from Victoria's Secret. I don't think it's a workout bra, but it's cute and I want to wear it as a workout bra. Thanks for joining me. If you have not subscribed, please do. And I will see you next week for your next workout. Peace.